Hi, today I want to go over what happens when you plug your iPhone into a USB port. What will happen is you'll get a notification top right hand corner asking you to tap here. Just tap on that and then choose one of the three options there. Photos and videos, Internet Explorer or nothing depends on what you want to do really. I've got to go ahead now and install iTunes on the computer and I'll show you what to do with various photos and videos and files and so on from your iPhone. Back in a moment. Now that the iTunes and iCloud have been installed you'll see that it's added some new apps specifically in this case Find My iPhone, iCloud and iPhone Photos iTunes, About iTunes, etc. If you go to the desktop you'll see a icon on the desktop double click on that to open it and you can see here that it's synchronizing my iPhone, which takes a minute or two, to actually access the iPhone. Do bear in mind that you should uh, restart your computer once the iTunes or iCloud is installed. Uh, that way it will recognize that any device that you have connected. And in this case it's the iPhone. So if we click on the symbol of iPhone, it tells you a bit about your your iPhone serial numbers, etc. You can automatically back up to the iCloud or this computer. I've just, in addition, checked this box here for sync with this file this iPhone over Wi-Fi and you can get information specifically on any apps that you have installed any music you may have films, TV programs, photos etc. Go back to the music interface that just about covers it for iPhone installation and iTunes and in this case iCloud installed. Do bear in mind that at some point you're going to have to log in to your account. So if you, you, you have uh, an iCloud or iTunes account you use those details to log in. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.